Hello students, in previous section we have discussed that there may be a number on the number lines which are not written in the form of P by Q and in this section we are going to investigate about this. Till now you may have come across with only numbers that we, are, we can write in the form of P by Q. Now the question arises is that are there numbers which cannot be written in the form of P by Q and the answer is yes. And these numbers are known as irrational number. The Pythagoreans in Greece, the followers of famous mathematician Pythagoras were the first to discover that there are some numbers on the number lines which cannot be expressed as a ratio of integer. That means which cannot be written in the form of P by Q and these numbers are irrational numbers. So, if we are going to define the irrational number, we can define like a number S is called irrational if it cannot be written in the form of P by Q, where P and Q are integers and Q not equal to 0. Agar koi number le le hum aur usko P by Q ke form mein likhe aur nahi express kar pa rahe hai, toh wo number kaise kehlaayenge? Irrational number. Now, what are the examples of irrational number? So, the examples of irrational number under root 2, under root 3, under root 5, pi and so on. Now what is the proof that under root 2, under root 3, under root 5 and pi all are irrational? So the proof for under root 2, under root 3, under root 5 and many more numbers are irrational that shall be discussed in class 9. Now we are having irrational numbers. If you remember, in previous section, we have collected some of the number in the bag. All the numbers in the bag were rational numbers. Now, if I am going to add irrational numbers also in that bag, now we are having rational numbers as well as irrational numbers in our bag and that collection of rational numbers and irrational numbers we can call as real numbers. So, what do you mean by the real numbers? Collection of all the rational numbers and irrational numbers are called real number. To denote real number, you can use symbol R. And this real numbers, you are having whole first a separate chapter in your class 10th named as real numbers. So, what do you mean by real number? Agar hum rational number or irrational number ka collection karke usko saath mein rakhte hai to wo jo sare number hai usko hum real number keh sakte hai real number ko denote karne ke liye hum r use kar sakte hai now every real number is represented by a unique point on the number line yani ki sare rational number aur irrational number ko hum ek unique point se number line pe represent kar sakte hai abhi tak aapne dekha ki कैसे various numbers को numbers lines पे represent कर सकते हैं जैसे कि minus 1, minus 2, 3, 5, 25 all the positive integers then rational numbers like 4 by 5, 1 by 4 so you all are knowing how to represent the rational number on the number line but here just now we have stated we have concluded that all the real number can be represented on the number lines by a unique point and real numbers may hum irrational numbers ko bhi include karte hai. Now the question is that how to indicate irrational numbers on the number lines. So let's see this by example. So we are going to discuss how to locate irrational numbers on the number line and so far I have taken one example locate under root 2 on the number line as you all know under root 2 is irrational number. So for that you first we need to consider a unit square and give name as OABC any name you can give. So I have taken one unit square and given the name OABC. Since it is unit square, each side will represent one, one unit length. Now I am going to apply Pythagoras theorem on this square. And if I am going to apply, I can write 
ओ बी स्क्वायर ओ बी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ओ ए स्क्वायर प्लस ए बी स्क्वायर द वैल्यू ऑफ ओ ए एंड ए बी वी आर नोइंग सिंस इट इज अ यूनिट स्क्वायर वन स्क्वायर प्लस वन स्क्वायर वन स्क्वायर विल बी वन वन प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू टू सो ओ बी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू टू इफ आई वॉन्ट द वैल्यू ऑफ ओ बी आई कैन राइट ओ बी इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट टू सो नाउ हियर वी आर हैविंग द वैल्यू ऑफ ओ बी एज अंडर रूट टू बाई अप्लाइंग पाइथागोरस थियर नाउ वी आर रेडी टू लोकेट अंडर रूट टू ऑन द नंबर लाइन फॉर दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू टेक वन नंबर लाइन I have already taken one number line and indicating some positive integers and not negative integers. Now you need to place this figure on the number line. By help of this figure, you can locate under root two on the number line. But we have to take care here. Zero and O should be on the same point. So we need to place the figure in such a way that. O and zero will have same point, and here I am doing. I have placed the figure O A B C, and this line O B is having value f under root two. Now you need to take a compass, take a compass, take a center as O or zero, take a radius as O B, and give the arc on the number. line take the compass consider the center as o take the radius as ob and give the arc on the number line in such a way that the arc will intersect the number line and the point at which the arc is intersecting the number line that point you can indicate as under root 2 so now we are having under root 2 on the number लाइक बहुत ही इजी है कैसे करेंगे जैसे हमने किया चलो एक स्मॉल रिव्यू देख लेते हैं अगर कोई भी इरेशनल नंबर को नंबर लाइन पे लोकेट करना है तो कैसे करेंगे तो यहाँ पे एग्जांपल लिया है कि अंडर रूट टू को लोकेट करो सो फॉर दैट यू नीड टू कंसीडर अ यूनिट स्क्वायर फर्स्ट गिव द नेम टू द स्क्वायर देन यू नीड टू अप्लाई द पाइथागोरस थियरम एंड यू विल हैव द वैल्यू ऑफ OB here i got the value as under root 2 at exit i need to locate under root 2 on the number line after this you need to draw a number line and you need to place this figure in such a way that o and 0 will have the same point on the number line then you need to take compass you need to consider o as a center point or 0 as a center point take the radius as ob give the arc from this center Until the arc is intersecting the number line, and whatever the point at which the arc is intersecting the number line, that point we can locate as under root two. Now we are going to see our next example: how to locate under root three on the number line. Just we have discussed how to locate under root two on the number line. For that we have considered our square unit, and we have applied Pythagoras theorem, and we got the figure like that. so here in this example i am going to use same figure now let's move forward if we are going to locate under root 3 on the number line take this figure draw a perpendicular line to ob in such a way let's give this point name as d now i am going to apply the pythagoras theorem on ob d here i have taken unit square that means each side will represent one unit in length so i am going to apply the pythagoras theorem on the ob and d let's apply theorem on which triangle ob d so according to pythagoras theorem we can write ot square is equal to ob square plus bd square ot square is equal to ob square 
plus BD square. The value of OB we are having under root 2. Under root 2 square plus value of BD is 1. 1 square will be 1. Under root 2 square will be 2. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So, I got OD square is equal to 3. If I am going to find the value of OD, it will be under root 3. So, here we got the value of OD as under root 3 and which we need to locate on the number line. Now, we are going to place this figure on the number line in such a way that O and 0 will have same point. Now, let us do this. And this is under root 3. Give the name O, A, B and T. Now, we want to, if you want to locate under root 2, you need to take a compass, you need to consider center as O and you have to take the radius as O, B and give to the arc to the number line. Here, we want to indicate under root 3 on the number line. So, we will take the compass, we will consider the center as O take the radius as OD and give the arc on the number line. Let us do give the arc on the number line and the point at which this arc is intersecting our number line there you can locate under root 3. Now same process we have done as we have located under root 2 then we have taken the line perpendicular to OB, we have applied the Pythagoras theorem to this OB and D triangle. We got the value under root 3. Then we have placed the same figure on the number line in such a way that O and 0 is having common same center. We have taken the arc and the point which we got on the number line that is under root 3. Now, what if you want to indicate under root 4 on the number line? No worry, I will tell you have to proceed in same manner. Again, take a perpendicular line to OD, make a triangle, apply the Pythagoras theorem to that triangle, then you will have the value of next as under root 4. You need to place that figure on the numbered line, same manner you can have the under root 4 also on your number line. So, here I am giving you one task indicate and or locate under root 5 on the number line. Same you see this to consider this two example locate under root 2 and how we have located under root 3 on the number lines. Move further then you will get the value of one side as under root 5. Place that exact figure on the number line give the arc and you will have under root 5 on your number line. So, my dear students, this way you can locate the any irrational number on the number line. So, I hope you have clear idea about how to locate irrational numbers on the number line. So, before ending our session, let me check if you are having clear idea about real numbers or not. Here I have listed two statements and you need to tell the statements are true or false. Let us pick the first statement. First statement is stated that every irrational number is a real number. As you all are knowing, real number is nothing but collection of rational number and irrational number. So, every irrational number is a real number, the statement is true because real numbers includes every irrational number. So, this first statement is true. Now, let us see the next statement. Every real number is an irrational number. Let us take one real number. Here I am taking 2 as a real number. But as you can see, 2 is not irrational number because we can write this 2 in the form of p by q, 2 by 1. And as per the definition of irrational number, irrational numbers cannot be written in the form of p by q. So, every real number is not irrational number. So, this statement is false. 
so i hope now you all are having clear idea about what do mean by real numbers and how to indicate all the real numbers on the number lines before ending our session don't forget to subscribe our channel nirja education thank you